Imagine taking a short city break to a place filled with history, culture and gastronomy right in the heart of Europe. Feel the thrill of discovering the personality of each city, the joy of new experiences and memories that last a lifetime. If you're new here, my name is Patrick, and in this series, I take you to less traveled European cities. Join me this week as we visit six more stunning places that are perfect for a short yet memorable getaway. Before we set off, please help me by subscribing to my channel. It's completely free, but it's a real help and encouragement to me. Thank you. By the way, I'm not from any of these places, so if I get anything wrong in this video, please correct me in the comments. All feedback is welcome and appreciated. This week our first city is Luxembourg, where medieval fortresses seamlessly blend with contemporary architecture. This city, small yet cosmopolitan, is a living testament to centuries of history, interwoven with a vibrant modern lifestyle. Exploring the streets of Luxembourg city on foot is a delightful way to experience the charm and beauty of this compact city. Its relatively small size makes it easy to navigate. Wander through the old town to admire historical landmarks such as the Palace Notre Dame Cathedral and the picturesque Place d'Armes. The Grand Diocal Palace, a marvel of Renaissance architecture. This isn't your typical palace frozen in time and cordoned off. No, it's alive and in use, serving as the official residence of the country's reigning monarch. This blend of tradition and function is what makes Luxembourg City so unique. Take a leisurely stroll along the Corniche, known as Europe's most beautiful balcony, for breathtaking views of the Alzette Valley and the Grün neighborhood. Then head to the Bock Promontory for more stunning views and visit the Bock Casemates, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Explore the labyrinthine network with kilometers of underground tunnels and galleries carved from solid rock. It's a window into the city's past, when Luxembourg was one of the most coveted fortresses in Europe. Work on this defense system was started in the 17th century under Spanish rule. On account of these impressive fortifications, Luxembourg was often called the Gibraltar of the North. As you wander the casemates, you'll feel the weight of centuries beneath your feet. Yet step out, and you're back in a city that thrives in the present, embracing the new while honoring the old. Consider joining a guided walking tour to learn about the city's history, architecture, and hidden gems. Alternatively, you can explore the city at your own pace with self-guided walking tours. For a totally different side to Luxembourg, check out the Philharmonie, a beacon of modernity amidst the city's historical tapestry. With its bold design, this concert hall is a testament to the city's love for art and culture. Luxembourg prides itself on its culinary scene, a delightful fusion of hearty local dishes and international cuisine. A testament to Luxembourg's rich culture, a delicious blend of old and new. Luxembourg City is a place where you can walk down a cobbled street lined with centuries-old buildings, then turn a corner to find a sleek, modern cafe serving artisanal coffee. It's a city where you can explore a fortress in the morning, attend a symphony in the afternoon, and enjoy a gourmet meal in the evening. A place where history and modernity live side by side, a must-visit city break destination. Next, we visit Lincoln, located in the English Midlands. This is a city that's rich in history and culture, a city that manages to balance its past with a modern, vibrant present. At the heart of Lincoln lies the striking Lincoln Cathedral, an architectural masterpiece that dates back to the 11th century. Its awe-inspiring Gothic architecture breathtaking stained glass windows and intricate stone carvings make it a must-see. But it's not just about the aesthetics. This cathedral is steeped in history, having witnessed everything from the signing of the Magna Carta to the English Civil War. A stone's throw away from the cathedral, you'll find Lincoln Castle. Constructed by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, it's one of the best-preserved Norman castles in England. You can walk along the medieval wall for a panoramic view of the city, or delve into the castle's depths and explore the Victorian prison. The castle also houses one of the four original copies of the Magna Carta, a testament to Lincoln's significant role in English history. But Lincoln is not just about grand monuments. Exploring Lincoln is a charming experience, its streets offering medieval and Georgian architecture and picturesque views. The iconic Steep Hill, as the name suggests, is steep but rewarding, lined with quaint shops, tea rooms, and historic buildings. Discover cultural gems like the collection and the Usher Gallery, offering exhibitions and displays of art and artifacts. Experience the lively atmosphere, especially during summer, 
when events and festivals take place, making Lincoln a vibrant destination. Lincoln's culinary scene is a delight for food lovers, from traditional English pubs serving hearty fare to sophisticated bistros offering modern British cuisine, there's something for every palate. With its historic landmarks, medieval streets and lively entertainment scene, Lincoln offers an unforgettable city break experience. For our next city, we cross into France and to Orléans. Situated on the Loire River, Orléans is a city that thrives on its vibrant history, art and culture. This city is the epitome of the French Renaissance, a time of great intellectual and artistic achievements that shaped the modern world. Imagine strolling down the city's cobbled streets where the scent of freshly baked bread and the sound of church bells transport you back to the 16th century. One of the most iconic landmarks you'll encounter is the Sainte Croix Cathedral. Its Gothic architecture with its towering spires and intricate stained glass windows is a testament to Orléans' rich architectural heritage. A stone's throw away from the cathedral you'll find the house of Joan of Arc, a 15th century half-timbered house that has been transformed into a museum dedicated to the city's heroic maiden. Here, you can immerse yourself in the life and times of Joan of Arc, reliving the pivotal moments of her life through a captivating multimedia display. Orléans is not just about historical monuments and museums. It is also home to the Parc Floral de la Source, this beautiful garden brimming with vibrant flowers and exotic plants is a tranquil oasis that offers a refreshing break from the city's bustling streets. But what's a trip to Orléans without a taste of its gastronomy? The city is renowned for its local dishes that are as rich in flavour as they are in history. Try the tart tatin, a delicious upside-down apple tart that was invented here in the late 19th century. Or indulge in a plate of andouillette, a traditional French sausage made with pork, onions, wine and seasoning. And let's not forget the wines. Orléans is the gateway to the Loire Valley, one of the world's most famous wine regions. Whether you prefer a crisp, dry white wine or a full-bodied red, you'll find a wine that suits your palate. While in Orléans, consider taking a boat ride along the Loire River and feast your eyes on landscapes that have inspired artists for centuries. It's the perfect way to appreciate the beauty of the Loire Valley. If you have the time, also consider an outing to the stunning Château de sully sur loire a historic castle located 45 minutes from Orléans. Originally built in the 12th century and renovated in the 17th century, this fairy tale castle boasts features like towers, battlements and a moat. The castle's interior includes furnished rooms, a chapel and a museum. Visitors can explore the beautiful grounds and enjoy guided tours of the castle. Orléans, with its rich history and tantalizing cuisine, is the perfect city break for those seeking a French Renaissance experience. So why wait? Start planning your trip to Orléans and let this charming city take your breath away. Our journey continues to Antwerp, Belgium's city of diamonds and home to world-renowned fashion designers. This city is a treasure trove of culture, history and gastronomy that never fails to captivate. One of the city's shining attractions is the Cathedral of Our Lady, a stunning Gothic masterpiece that soars into the sky. This resplendent cathedral, adorned with exquisite artwork, is a testament to the city's rich artistic heritage. Its towering spires and intricate carvings are a sight to behold, leaving visitors in awe of its architectural grandeur. Close to the cathedral is Antwerp's main square called Grotermarkt. With origins dating back centuries, the Grotermarkt has witnessed numerous historical events and remains an iconic symbol of Antwerp's past and present. The square is a hub of activity and boasts a stunning array of Renaissance architecture, including the city hall, guild houses, and a monumental fountain. Explore the stunning Antwerp Central Station, known for its architectural beauty and historical significance. Take a leisurely stroll down Meir, Antwerp's premier shopping street, offering a blend of historic and modern shopping experiences. Chocoholics can delight in the world of Belgian chocolate at Chocolate Nation, Antwerp's chocolate museum. A stone's throw away from the cathedral is the Antwerp Zoo, one of the oldest and most respected zoos in the world. The zoo's dedication to conservation and education makes it not just a place to visit, but an experience to cherish. What truly sets Antwerp apart is its diamond district, a dazzling spectacle of glittering gems that has earned the city its moniker as the city of diamonds. This bustling hub of commerce is where over 80% of the world's rough diamonds are traded making it a must-visit for anyone with a sparkle in their eye. 
fashion enthusiasts will find themselves drawn to Antwerp's thriving fashion scene. Home to the Royal Academy of Fine Arts, one of the world's most prestigious fashion schools, the city is a creative playground for budding designers and fashionistas alike. Its myriad boutiques and designer stores are a testament to the city's flair for fashion. Antwerp, a city that sparkles with history, fashion and gastronomy, is a gem of a city break destination. Its blend of cultural riches and vibrant modern life makes it a city that truly shines, just like the diamonds it is famous for. Next, we travel to the heart of Italy's heel to Lecce, often referred to as the Florence of the South. This nickname is no idle boast. Lecce's rich history, stunning architecture and diverse culinary scene make it a city that deserves its place on every traveler's bucket list. Let's begin our exploration with the Basilica di Santa Croce, a masterpiece of Baroque architecture. A feast for the eyes, the basilica's facade is a complex tapestry of figures and motifs, each telling a story of faith and history. As you wander through its majestic interior, the intricate stone carvings and elaborate altars transport you back to the grandeur of Italy's past. A short stroll away, history peels back even further at the Roman amphitheater. Hidden beneath the city's surface for centuries, it was only discovered in the early 20th century. From there, make your way to the Piazza del Duomo, an architectural gem that is quite literally breathtaking. Enclosed on three sides by majestic buildings, the fourth side opens up to the sky, creating a unique sense of space and light. As the sun sets, the piazza takes on a magical glow, making it the perfect spot to relax and soak in the city's ambience. Lose yourself roaming through the narrow streets of the historic center. Discover hidden alleyways and charming corners off the beaten path, offering glimpses of authentic Lecce. Stroll through picturesque squares lined with cozy cafes and shops. Admire the intricate Baroque facades adorned with ornate carvings and sculptures. Consider joining a guided walking tour led by passionate locals to gain insights into the city's history and culture. But what is a visit to Italy without indulging in its culinary delights? Lecce is renowned for its local dishes that combine the fresh flavors of the sea and the earth in a symphony of taste. The city's signature pasta is orecchietti, little ear-shaped pasta, typically served with a hearty tomato and meat sauce. If you have a sweet tooth, you simply must try a pasticciotto. These warm pastries filled with custard are the perfect accompaniment to your morning coffee at a local bar, the Italian word for cafe. And of course, the local wines are a must try with their robust flavors perfectly complementing the city's cuisine. Lecce, with its stunning Baroque architecture and delectable cuisine, offers a city break experience that is truly Italian. As you wander through its winding streets, you'll discover a city that is both deeply rooted in its past and vibrantly alive in the present. So come and immerse yourself in the magic of Lecce, the Florence of the South. Our last city this week is Segovia in Spain, a world heritage city with unique sites that are worth a trip in themselves. A 70 minute drive from Madrid airport, Segovia is a treasure trove of architectural and cultural marvels that echo the past profoundly. Our first stop here must be the spectacular Roman aqueduct, an ancient engineering marvel that brought water to the city 2,000 years ago and is the defining historical feature of the city. This awe-inspiring structure boasts over 160 arches, reaching heights of nearly 30 meters or 90 feet. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the Romans and their mastery of construction. Walking beneath its towering arches, you can't help but feel a sense of wonder at the passage of time. Segovia also boasts an old Jewish quarter, grand mansions, outstanding views, and a green belt that is ideal for pleasant walks in the sunshine. Another must-see is the Alcazar of Segovia, a fairy tale castle straight from the pages of a storybook. Once a fortress, a royal palace, a state prison, and now a museum, the Alcazar has played a pivotal role in Spain's history. Its turrets and towers are a sight to behold, creating a backdrop that's truly captivating. We continue to the Cathedral of Segovia, a magnificent example of late Gothic architecture. Known as the Lady of Cathedrals, it's the last Gothic cathedral built in Spain. Its soaring spires, intricate stone carvings, and stunning stained glass windows are a testament to the craftsmanship of the artisans of yesteryears. The cathedral stands by the main square, Plaza Mayor, lined by beautiful buildings, arcades, and cafes. There is also a pavilion at the center of the square. Just off Plaza Mayor, you'll find the old Jewish quarter. Wander the narrow streets and alleyways, 
and take in the atmosphere of this old part of town. Check out the remains of the city wall, which today still runs for over two kilometers around the historic quarter. It has an average height of nine meters, or 30 feet, and still boasts three of the original seven gates. Parts of the walls are ancient, while others date back to the 11th or 12th century. Segovia isn't just about history and architecture. It's also a city that celebrates its gastronomy with gusto. And when in Segovia, you simply must try the cochinio, or roast suckling pig. This traditional dish is a culinary delight with its crispy skin and tender meat cooked to perfection. The cochinio is a staple of Segovian cuisine and a must try for any meat loving foodie. Segovia is not a large city and its sights can easily be rushed in a day but stay one or two nights and you'll discover that the place invites you to slow down, to stroll along its cobbled streets, to gaze at its stunning skyline and to savor its traditional dishes and its way of life. It's a city that embodies the essence of Spain with its rich tapestry of history, culture and gastronomy. Whether you're a history buff, a food enthusiast or simply someone who enjoys exploring new places, Segovia offers a relaxed experience that's both enriching and delightful an unforgettable city break. City breaks give us the chance to take a quick dive into the heart of a city and experience its culture, history and cuisine. Each city holds its own unique appeal waiting to be discovered. So pack your bags, unleash the explorer in you and embark on your next city break adventure. Have you been to any of these cities? Or can you recommend any other less traveled places to visit? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing, but is a great help to me. Set all notifications so as not to miss further episodes about my favorite destinations. Until next time, happy travels.